In this video, we'll be covering how to top stitch hem jeans. So we've got a pair of regular jeans here, medium heavyweight denim. And to begin, we're gonna take off some of the price tags. Because these jeans are being altered, we are going to help the customer out by removing the tags. See here, perfect. Next, let's take a look at the hem. We need to measure the original hem to know how far up or down to cut. The original hem measures half an inch. We're using our seam gauge to measure. Because there isn't a raw edge inside, it means it's been doubled over. So it's probably been folded half an inch and half an inch. We always want to use the original hem to gauge the new hem and make them the same. So we know if this measures half an inch that we need to go one inch down from our mark. One inch down to cut from our mark puts us right in the middle of that original hem and we don't wanna cut there. We need to release this hem and press the seam allowance down before we cut our new hem. The easiest way to do that is to cut with our seam ripper from the inside. We don't wanna damage the outside of the garment accidentally, so it's safest to seam rip from the inside. We're going to seam rip this all the way around so that we can release this seam allowance. So we've used our seam ripper to release that original hem and used our iron to press out the seam allowance fully. Now, if we go back to our chalk mark here, we know we need to measure down an inch like we originally measured. So here is going to be our new line like we measured before right in the middle of that original hem. So let's mark that out and cut that off. So now we're going to measure down again one inch from our original mark. What we need to do is place the new hemline straight across with our chalk and the cutting line straight across. To do that, we're gonna place our pant legs right next to each other, trying to line up the raw edge along the grid on the table. Now, these pants are not always cut evenly in the factory, so as you can see, it waves a little bit. Try your best to line that edge up with both of the pant legs. Next, we're gonna take a flat ruler and set that straight across our new hem line, not our cut line, our hem line. And we're gonna look at the grid on either side and make sure that our line, our ruler is straight so that we can draw a straight line. Straight across. Then we're gonna measure down from that line one inch all the way across and make little marks. Perfect. Now, as I said, sometimes the jeans themselves are not exactly straight, but as long as we match up our new mar marked lines with the grid on the table, we know that our cutting and our new hem is going to be straight. So, now, with our glove on and our rotary cutting ruler, we know that we are ready to get cutting. So we're gonna use the chalked line, the hashed line, that is our cutting line, to cut off that additional seam allowance. We're gonna be very careful because we can only cut once. So we wanna make sure that we're looking at all of the lines that we've marked and the lines on the table so that we are totally straight. Now we are gonna push down on the ruler and keep everything in place and make sure that our fingers are behind the bumper here. And then we're just gonna slowly and gently use our rotary. With thick fabric like this, sometimes it may need to be cut more than once. That's okay. The most important thing is that we cut slow and we cut away over this hump will be hard. We may need to cut that one with scissors. These seams on the denim are extremely thick. So if we need to snip that, that's okay. 
All right. And the second one. All righty. Perfect. Now we have our new edge that we're ready to fold. So now we are over at our cutting board. We're gonna turn the jeans inside out. Now, just like we measured, we're going to turn them half an inch up and press. So we're holding that half an inch up and we're just gonna lightly with our steam kind of press that in place. and then fold it up once more, half an inch, just like the inch that we measured out and pin in place. See, we can measure with our gauge to make sure that we are just at half an inch there. Now we're going to gently move around the bottom of the pant Pressing up half an inch at a time. Careful to watch our fingers. And then pressing another half an inch up and pinning. So it's not perfect. It still comes away from the jean a little, but that's okay. We're not gonna put a pin through that seam because it would be impossible. We'll just bend a bunch of pins. We're gonna pin as we need to keep it in place, but don't go crazy with the pins. We don't wanna to spend too much time pinning. Again, holding that half inch up, using a little steam and our iron to get that to sit in place so that we can fold it up once more. Measuring frequently to make sure we're at half an inch. It's very important that we measure and stay at exactly what we originally measured so that the pants aren't too short or too long when we finish. Perfect. So we've used about five, maybe six pins. And now, once we've got our pins holding everything in place, we're just gonna lay the bottom down and give it a once over press with steam to hold it all before we go and sew. I'm just tucking those little bits under that aren't fully pinned. Perfect. And now we are ready to sew. So we're here in front of our heavy straight stitch machine ready to sew our denim hem. We've pinned and pressed our double turned hem in place. And now we're actually gonna flip the jeans out to the right side. Now we've got the right side of our jeans facing out. I like to sew with the right side out because it allows us to sew from the inside still, but keeping the upper layer out of our way. So let's pick the inside seam to start. Let's start by placing one of the side seams underneath our needle to start. I like to keep the back stitching on either one of the side seams so that it doesn't end up somewhere in the middle of the pant leg. That looks clumsy and we want it to look nice and clean. So let's start by taking a few stitches forward and then pressing our reverse a few stitches back. Now we're just gonna go nice and slow Let's make sure that while we're holding this down, we're pulling the pins out, but also keeping our fingers clear and at a safe distance from the needle. As we sew, we're trying to put our thread about an eighth of an inch in from the fold. So really just barely holding it up, but as close as we can. We also wanna make sure that we keep this folded over edge of the seam allowance even as we move and take the pins out. 
so that our hem is even and straight. Now, as we come up to this big bump, which is a lot of flat felled seam allowance on the other side of the seam, we want to get a running start, I like to say. So don't stop right beforehand. The machine needs the momentum to ride that hump. Good. We are almost back to the start. And we're just guiding and holding that hem in place. Beautiful. And as we approach the beginning again, we're gonna aim to stitch right directly on top of where we started. And then we'll give it just a few, one or two back stitches. Now take the hand wheel to bring our needle up and we're pressing the knee bar to lift our presser foot. And now we'll pull out and give ourselves a little tail before we trim. Let's take a look. Beautiful, we ran right on top of our beginning stitches and we have a nice even hem right along the bottom there at just a half an inch. Now we'll clip our threads and give this bottom a little press on the iron and it'll be ready to go. 